Welcome back, Odoers. Now that I'm getting more traffic on Stealthy Woods' website, I'd like to start offering training to people who want to learn how to hand make products of their very own. A lot of my customers routinely request such a service, and I think it's time that we here at Stealthy Wood give the people what they want. But I don't want to sell my Stealthy Wood products on the same site as my training services. That means I'll need a second website. That said, there will be some shared pages between the two, and I'd like to link my websites together with these shared pages. That would be a great way to organize customer segmentation while working on two independent websites with different audiences from the same database. Talk about versatility. I understand that may sound complicated, but trust me, working in a multi-website environment is easier than ever with Odoo. So let's dive in and see how easy it can be. All right, so let's start here on the back end of our website application, and we're gonna go directly to configuration settings. And this is where we'll be able to create and access a second separate website. Now you're gonna see some subtle differences on this page, depending on if you have created a website on this database before or not. Um, so in this case, I have created a website on this database. Um, after which I deleted. So I only have the one existing um, website on um, this database. But since I've done that, I'm going to have this section um, select the website to configure. And then we're gonna find a field for websites. And then we'll be able to um, select a website by default. It's gonna be Stealthy Wood, of course, because it's the only website that I have on this database. And then below that, we can click on create a new website to create a new website. Now, if you have never created a second website or another website um, apart from the initial website you have on your database, then you're not going to see this section right away. You're just going to um, see your website section and then next to that you will have a plus new um, button which you can click in order to create a new website instead. So both of these options, whether it's the um, plus new button or if it's a create a new website button as we see it here, uh, they both do the same thing. So it doesn't matter if you um, already see this section or not. So let's go ahead and create a new website. So I'm gonna click on create a new website and then a pop-up is going to appear asking for a website name, domain, and logo. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my website name. So let's say SW Services. All right, and then I'm going to skip the website domain for now, and that way Odoo will use my default domain, but I can always add something later on. And I'm always going to, I'm also going to um, skip the logo for now as well. All right, so let's go ahead and click on pick a theme. When I do that, it's going to take us to the theme selection page. Now I could choose the same theme as before because my two sites are technically related, but I would rather choose a theme tailor-made to fit my specific service needs. So let's go ahead and choose uh, this one right here. So I'm gonna click on use this theme. And then in moments, uh, Odoo will redirect us to a blank homepage where we can quickly build um, another beautiful website from scratch, but I've already shown you how easy it is to do that in previous videos. So from here, I'm simply gonna click on save um, and I'm gonna skip that step for now. I do, however, want to add a new page to the second website. So let's click on the plus new button and then I'm gonna click on page. I want to um, title my page, of course. So let's say our services and then I'm gonna click on continue. Um, and then of course, Odoo is going to redirect us again to a blank um, template that we can fully customize as per the usual. So let's go ahead and throw a cover block in there and Let's add a form just below that as well. All right, now the first thing I want to make sure of um, is that these inquiries are going to um, be sent to um, the correct sales team, um, those that are going to handle this. So first of all, I want to be sure that I have um, the correct recipient email so that the sales team will receive these inquiries. So let's go ahead and modify this. I'm going to put sales at swservices.com. All right. And then, of course, we want to be sure that the action is set on send an email as well. Um, once again, if you have other applications installed, um, you may have more actions available here. Right now, I just have the website application installed in this database, so I only see the option send an email. 
All right, so that looks good. So then let's go ahead and add um, a catchy headline here. So we're simply going to say our services. I don't know whether it's catchy or simple or both, but it works. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and also add um, the short copy below. And I'm going to say Stealthy Wood Services um, is here to help with all your furniture needs. And then we're gonna do dot dot slash learn how to build like a pro today. All right, and then we're going to save it like that. So that looks good for now. Of course, I have a bit more personalizing to do, um, but I'm going to take care of that later. So since I've created this page, now I want my primary website, so selfiewood.com, to feature this page. But content from a different website won't just show up on all websites automatically, so I'll need to return to the back end of the website application. So first, let's go to the main dashboard by clicking on the little square on the top left, and then we're gonna go back to the website application. All right, and then from here, we're going to go to configuration and then pages. Now, once we land here, we're gonna see all of the pages that we have created for both websites. So let's select the one that we just made, which is our services. All right, now I'm going to enter the edit mode so we can uh, modify this. And this is going to show us all of the information that is surrounding this page. Um, and then as you can see, we are presented with options um, that we can modify. So we can change um, the view name, the page URL, the view, um, and of course, what website this page is on. So it's already set for SW services, um, which makes sense because I built this page on that website. And if I wanted to make this page exclusive to only that website or only to uh, one specific website, then I would simply have to select that website from this drop down menu here. And if I want this page to appear on all of my websites, all I have to do is delete the value in this field and hit save. It isn't that easy. All right, but even though I want to keep these uh, sites separated, I still want people who visit Stealthy Woods webpage to know that SW services exist. So the best way to do that is to put a link to our services on Stealthy Woods homepage, preferably on the main header menu, but I could just as easily copy and paste um, this page URL and link it to a button on my homepage as well. Um, but for this example, we'll add it to our main header menu. And to do that, I'm going to click on add a line here when, under the related menu items section. All right, so let's click on add a line. And then, of course, we want to choose our website. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Stealthy Wood. We will be able to add our services here. And then the URL, I'm going to do slash our services as well. Okay, and then for the parent menu, we're going to choose um, top menu um, for website one, which is Stealthy Wood. All right, and that's it. So let's go ahead and click on save. All right, and then we're going to um, go back to Stealthy Wood's homepage. So let's go to our website here. And then I'm, I'm on my second website, so the one I was just modifying, but I'm going to switch this. So instead of SW services, I'm gonna to go to Stealthy Wood. All right, so we can do that from that um, little menu right here, so it's very easy. And then we're going to see that uh, we have our services right here on the menu, um, which is really nice. And when we click it, we're taken to this themes version of the R services page that I made for my other website just moments ago. And yes, there are some subtle design differences, but that only helps separate these two entities um, even more. Um, and then it, while keeping them still connected, um, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's ensure that everything is still going to function properly because we did add a form here with a specific um, email. All right, so let's select that form. All right, and we see that the email alias is still sales at swservices.com. So that way, even if a visitor finds this page via Stealthy Woods website, they can still send um, the information directly to the team over at SW Services as intended, which is pretty neat. 
All right, and of course, we always want to be sure we save our changes. And there you have it. In just a few minutes, we created, customized, and linked two separate websites together with Odoo. And it really couldn't be easier. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.